All right, ladies and gentlemen, the grand finale for this module, and the subject is how to trick bacteria cells into producing a needed human protein. Oh, my goodness, what have we got here? We're going to basically dissect this diagram, and we're going to take it from the top. Let's start over here to the upper left. What do we have? We have a human cell, cell containing the gene of interest. What gene would that be? Let's just say it's the HGH gene. Let's say we're trying to trick a bacteria cell, uh, bacteria cells into producing human HGH. And so, what do the uh, what do the uh, uh, green triangles represent? They represent the human protein of interest. We'll call it HGH. What's this arrow represent? Protein synthesis. Oh yeah, we're all over that. We know protein synthesis, transcription, then translation. Sure, you start with a gene and you end up with a protein. So this represents protein synthesis. The trick is getting bacteria cells to do the same thing. So this represents a functional human uh, HGH gene. What does this represent here? It represents snipping it out, cutting it out. Now that's not just a simple little afternoon step. Uh, first of all, what do the uh, biotech folks have to do? They have to find the HGH gene. And since we have about 25,000 genes or so, uh, that's not going to be, that's uh, just, you know, that's going to take some time. And so, but once they find it, they cut it out and get rid of the rest of the DNA. And so they have several copies of the human HGH gene. By the way, what do you call those kind of ends right there? Oh, yeah, sticky ends. And what, of course, was used to cut this gene out of the human uh, from the uh, isolated human genome. Yeah, restriction enzymes, sure, restriction enzymes. Okay, so we, we have a few copies of these, of this uh, isolated, of this uh, uh, HGH gene, and we just, okay, we'll put those aside for a moment uh, in a test tube, and let's come over here. What do we have? We have a plasmid being extracted from a bacteria cell and used in this procedure. Well, chances are that's not what's going to happen. Uh, the uh, researchers are going to buy a plasma that's perfect for what they want to do, a special designer plasma. But uh, somehow they get a plasma, and it says they use the same restriction enzyme to snip the plasma. Same restriction enzyme as what? This one over here that was used to cut out that HGH gene. And so if the same restriction enzyme is used to cut out this gene as is used to snip the plasma, what will that do? Ooh, that will provide what? Sticky ends that match? What are they called? They're called, here it is down here, under number two, complementary. Complementary with the E, complementary, complementary, complementary sticky ends. Yeah, sticky ends that match, that fit together. And so, okay, we've got, a we've got a plasma that's been snipped. We've got a gene that's been snipped out. And what happens next? Put the two together. Uh... And so, along with some polymerase to kind of tie them together, uh, to join the A's to T's and the G's to C's. And what do you have? You have something that is, in general, called recombinant DNA. This is a general term, recombinant DNA. And the definition is in your textbook. You should have looked it up already. About what does it say? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Uh, what is recombinant DNA? It's defined as two or more segments of DNA that have been combined by humans into a sequence that does not exist in nature. What is that again? Uh, two or more segments of DNA combined by humans into a sequence that does not exist in nature. Yeah, we got two or more segments. And there was com it was combined by humans. They were combined by humans into a sequence that doesn't exist in nature. Oh, you mean in nature, uh, bacterial plasmids don't normally have human genes? Uh, that is absolutely correct. All right, so we commented DNA. What happens next? Something called transformation. That is a technical term in the context of, of uh, biotechnology. And that's also defined in your book, Transformation, a cell's incorporation of genetic material from outside its boundary. And so the idea now is to do this, transfer the plasmid back into a bacteria cell. And so uh, transformation, a cell's incorporation of genetic material from outside its boundary. If uh, we can really get that, uh, that uh, plasmid inside a bacteria cell, would that cell be incorporating genetic material from outside its boundary? Sure it is. That's called transformation. A cell's incorporation of genetic material 
outside its boundary. And in my classroom lab, we have a lab where we do that very thing. Uh, we have a, uh, a uh, really uh, a kind of an ingenious plasmid. actually has a jellyfish gene in it, not human HGH, a jellyfish gene, and we work to get that inside bacteria, and that uh, causes the bacteria to do, do some interesting uh, and different things. All right, so now we have our, our plasmid, our recombinant DNA, our plasmid with the HGH gene inside a bacteria cell. The next step says replication, which means multiplication. It means, uh, you know, the, the bacteria cell multiplies or reproduces. This is the very easiest of steps. Under the right conditions, bacteria cells will multiply phenomenally. Fact is, uh, in uh, one bacteria cell can become two bacteria cells every 20 minutes. In other words, if you start with one, after 20 minutes you'd have two, after 40 minutes you'd have four, after an hour you'd have eight, the next hour you'd have 16, 32, 64, etc. They multiply very rapidly. What are those ideal conditions? Uh, room to grow, plenty of food, and nice warm temperature, about our body temperature uh, for the bacteria that are used and they multiply like crazy. But notice what's happening in this picture. Not only are the bacteria cells multiplying, of course every time a bacteria cell divides, its chromosome has been replicated. But what else has been replicated? Also that bacteria, bacterial plasma that has the HGH gene. So you may go from just a very few cells, bacteria cells that have that plasmid with the HGH gene, to bazillions of them. Bazillions and bazillions. And what do those bacteria cells do with that uh, plasma with the HGH gene? Or what do they do with the HGH gene? Hey, they don't know what else to do except what we saw up here, protein synthesis. They trans, uh, transcribe it, then translate it, and produce that needed human protein. So now down here you see the green triangles, same green triangles, except now the bacteria have been tricked into producing that needed human protein. And what does the uh, pharmaceutical company need to do? They need to purify the human protein, those get rid of all the bacteria cells, just where you have the, uh, the hu human protein, we're saying HGH, uh, pure, uh, all by itself, and you package it, and then you sell it to get some money for all this hard work. All right, ladies and gentlemen, study that diagram over and get the idea, and uh, I think it's pretty clear if you study the diagram, of the sequence of activities. We're also going to have a pen cast that kind of goes through it as well. All right, that's it for this.